Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, Miko was showing us her lovely fox girl outfit. And now apparently, Hiromi went to a costume shop the other day. And what was she doing there? I wanted to buy a cute outfit for the cultural festival. Hmm, are you sure? What is wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing's wrong about that. Or with that at all. A c c cute outfit? What do you mean by cute? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Hiromi's uh, definition of cute is very sexual. Hmm. I'm sure she isn't planning anything nefarious, Miko. I think. Maybe. You don't know what she's really like. Oh, she's a devious girl. She's got that look in her eye. What look? There's something evil afoot. Alright, I will I'll watch out for that. Hmm. Please don't interfere. I'm sure it's nothing. Maybe. Uh, fine. She's pouting again. Oh, don't pout, Miko. Oh well, I should be used to it by now. What well, is a competition, so? Huh. Now, why did Hiromi ask me to go to the gym after school? I wonder how long I'll be waiting for this surprise of hers. Hmm, it'll be a while. I hear footsteps echo through the empty gym. Uh oh, is that, is that Hiromi or someone else? I turn around. I see her. Oh, okay, so that's Hiromi. Oh. So this is the outfit you were buying? A bunny outfit? Hiromi? Ooh. Hello, Kata. She's sitting on the stage, looking at me with a mischievous glint in her eye. Ooh, what are you planning to do? Hiromi. What she's wearing? It's a classic bunny outfit. Yeah, I just told you that, Kata. Oh my. Complete with ears, stockings, and a tiny cotton tail. Where? I can't see the cotton tail. Where is it? I, oh, I can't see it. It seems she doesn't lack any confidence in it either. Oh yeah, I know. She, she's just proud to have it on for me. The outfit barely hides her figure. Yeah, it's, it's very snug on her. Look! Everything she has is proudly displayed for me to see. Just like in the... in the pool. I find myself a little shocked. Why? Why are you shocked? Whoa, whoa, whoa. what's with the outfit? Well, I wasn't happy with how things ended with... P -p please don't remind me. Ended with what? I don't want to think about it. What? 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 Think about what? Yes, so that's why we're here. I thought you would like something new. And I just thought it might be nice to wear this. Do you like it? I like it. I, uh, well, I can't say that I don't like it. Smooth, smooth, Kata. She jumps down from the stage and begins walking towards me seductively. Well, if you like it, she begins pressing up against me. Oh my. Perhaps you'd like a closer look at it? Ah, uh, it's already really close. I've seen a lot of lewd things while I've been here. Wait, here? Oh. But this time, it's really going to my head. Oh yeah, it's a bunny outfit. You seem flustered. That isn't like you at all. I guess you really do like this outfit then. Uh, yeah, I'm speechless, yeah, yes. Uh, aren't you being a bit of an exhibitionist? Maybe I am. Well, not gonna stop her, Kata. 
but there's only one person that I want to show it off to. How are you so sure that I'm the only one seeing this right now? I made sure there would be no one else here. Oh. Hmm. That definitely makes me feel a little better. Kind of. It's just you and me. No one else. She seems to lick her lips after she says that. Oh. Oh my. It's making me a bit nervous. Why? Why is it making you nervous, kid? I'm confused about your feelings right now. I, uh, I see. So nervous. What are you so nervous about? Uh, uh... You seem to like this situation. So, I must be doing something right. Oh, you definitely are. Especially with that bow tie. Oh, where's the collar? I should realize it's not there. She really is hitting on me this time. All subtle teeth thrown out of the window. Hmm, it looks like Miko was completely right. Her lips look so inviting. Why are you looking at me that way? Do you desire something, Keita? I, I, yeah, mm, I really need to find a way out of this situation. Are you sure? I mean, you, you let the cool thing happen. Imagine if Miko saw this. Oh. Hmm. She's gonna be super mad and super jealous. It's then that I hear a voice call out. What? What are you doing with Kada? What? Oh. Well, she got in somehow. Miko shoves Hiromi away. No fair. After the contest. Oh. Well, she did her thing at the pool. I mean... And then this. Huh. Interesting. Not you too. Don't remind me. What? But you liked it, Kata. You did. I know you did. I saw it. Her cheeks puff up like two weather balloons. Don't you dare ever say anything about that again. But but you never well, you never want me to say anything about anything, Miko. We must never speak of it. Oh, okay. That's like everything. So, oh, okay. I just put that to the list. Stop yelling, please. The last thing I need is someone else to walk in and see this situation. That would be kind of bad. Well, how? What? What the? How? How did she change? Change so fast? What the heck? I should have known you would interfere. Hiromi's already gotten her uniform on when we weren't looking. What the heck? That was super duper fast. And the collar on too. You are pure evil. You knew the risks and you still brought Keita here. Hmm. Sometimes you have to take risks. Ooh, it is a competition. Ooh. Hmm. It does pay off at times. This isn't risk, this is suicide. It is? Oh, that's not good. I knew that nothing good would come of it. Oh, is that why you interfered? Hmm. Are you just jealous that I got to spend time with Keda? Oh, see? I knew it. I knew it. Miko was going to be jealous. Merciless as always, Hiromi. But that isn't the point at all. The basketball club is going to be meeting here shortly. But I put the word out that the gym was unavailable. Unless someone told them otherwise. Oh, Miko told the basketball team. Oh. Trailing off, Hiromi slowly turns around and eyes Miko. Who just so happens to be wearing a smug smile on her face. Oh, yes yeah, she did. We'll have to talk about this later. I'm beginning to see layers upon layers of deception here. Hmm. That's not the point, though. You 
You're going to come with me right now, Keda. You owe me an apology. What? An apology? Wait, I... She grabs him by the arm and begins pulling me out of the gym. Where are we going? Don't you dare interfere, Hiromi. A small, devious smile forms on Hiromi's face. Oh, so that's what you're going to do. I understand you want him too. D -d don't say it out loud. Oh. Anyways, we'll find out in the next episode where Miko is leading us. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!